started a novel called Baby by Patricia McLaughlin, which is really exciting for us because we started off the year with a novel by Patricia McLaughlin. So we can do a lot of comparison and contrasts, even with the scenery, which is uh, the beach. But the book is about a baby that gets abandoned. And so we decided, since that family was caregiving for a little baby, that we needed to caregive for our own little baby. So everyone brought in their own little decorated egg baby, and we started an integrated unit of study, reading, writing, listening, speaking. So our creativity is unleashed, and they are becoming mommies and daddies to an egg. Their parents are getting involved. They're sending in little extra responsibility chores that they're doing at home for extra credit. One had to go to the dentist, and the mom sent in a note how much the dentist absolutely loved the little egg baby, and they are doing a lot of writing, a lot of creating. And and doing a lot of art with this, so they're really enjoying all of the art that goes along with it. Our principal is Grandma Fitch, and she makes visits, and our, uh, our custodian has come through, and he's done, he's, you know, Uncle Worth, and he's made visits, and they carry their egg babies with them from class to class. Except for today, they're starting kindergarten, and they have to say goodbye to them at the door, so the, the egg babies will then go home. I can tell you today that our egg babies are going to begin kindergarten and we've been pretty sad about that day that they would have to give hugs and kisses at the door and then, you know, go on to work. They brought their babies with them to work because McKinley's very progressive and they could come with them to work and they were really good newborns, but now they're getting, you know, as little as they're older and rambunctious, so now they need to go to work without them. So our kindergartners from Mrs. Huffman's class are coming in to teach our egg babies about some of the kindergarten rules so that they can acclimate very nicely into kindergarten. So they're going to come around and tell the egg babies about some of the rules for kindergarten. Okay, so my dad has very big feet, so <laughs> that's how the room became to be. And from my old Monster High stuff, I found a couch in here. So I kind of duct taped it so it would be a little more boyish for Carl. And then this we made in class. So I have it here because I'm a babysitter for egg babies at recess. So they can take naps on the couch too. And the floor is like duct taped. And this was my stepmoms and they used as a little diaper bag. That's where they hold their little binkies and rattles and stuff like that. And their toy box is also made out of like a duct tape kind of carton thing and I just grabbed a few little random toys. They've got, they had birthday presents but I don't know exactly where all of them went. And this just a little egg carton that I cut out from the eggs so they could actually stand up. Nice. During story time, this house, this bed is from um, my family stuff that I had because I got a big house and furniture to go along with it. So I figured this would be perfect. And the duct tape around it is so that they don't fall off because I know they roll around a lot, especially these two because Miss Strand was trying to take their pictures and they just kept rolling. And <laughs> Yeah, so my friend Sarah gave me um, these little binkies from her. She found them at Party City, I think. Party City. What are your baby's names? This is Carl and this is Judith. Are they twins? Yes, yes they are. And Judith. you mentioned you're an egg babysitter out at recess. How does that work? Yes, well, you're not allowed to leave your baby alone. So you have to get a sitter, so, someone you trust so they don't break them. And I babysit by the benches and tables, and when it's nice, I sit on the floor with the babies in the grass and stuff. So they just drop them off. Hopefully I know their names, sometimes I don't. <laughs> but, yeah. I have a um, little car for him, and um, a little book, um, a little um, seat for him, for him, like when he goes to kindergarten and his name is Tyler. And then in here, I have a little um, house for him, a little um, toy for him to roll on. And then I also have some bags, a stuffed animal for him, and a little seat for, for him to eat at. And 
if you drop them, they, um, they'll get cracked and it's pretty much like how you get a boo-boo. And if it like gets really bad cracked, it's kind of like they gotta go to the emergency room and get fixed up. So that way they're all um, normal again, like this one. And um, so if you keep it like good, that means you're a good parent if you haven't broke it out. The most important thing I've learned from this is writing. Because we got to write a whole bunch, of, we got to write letters to our egg baby. And I wrote one, well I'm writing one right now about their birthday party. So that was really fun for me. And tell me, you're going to be saying goodbye to your egg baby soon, so how do you feel about that? Um, me personally, I'm very sad that I'm actually going to have to let my egg baby go because I just liked taking care of him and just helping him just get set up and his sister's actually sick, so. Oh, what's the story with your egg babies? Tell me their story. Uh, basically, um, the names are Jessica and John. Jessica is sick. And John is just like, to, well, he's crazy. He's basically a mini version of me. Um, but other than that, he's actually a very smart kid and um, he just loves hanging out with his sister. Do you have any? Yeah, can you pull the two of them out? Let us see. Uh, Jessica is not here, but John is here. He, he's in need of a bed. He has not been taking his bed. <laughs> so. I felt pretty good about it because I think we've been talking about this project all year and everybody has been waiting for it and I think everybody really likes it. I feel pretty bad because we were talking about Auntie Dawn, she got our egg babies, um, baby snacks and we, she threw us our egg babies a birthday party and I think it was pretty fun but I'm pretty sad that we're having to close it.